there are some additional key points that are relevant for your entrance exam that we need to know. First of all, vaccines which are never given according to nationalization schedule above one year of age, there are three vaccines which should never be given above one year. Right? First is pentavalent. Pentavalent will not be given above one year of age. You will use DPT booster but not pentavalent. Second is BCG. And third is rotavirus. Right? Although hepatitis B also is not given if the dose has been skipped, if the dose has been missed. But in case of healthcare workers or in case, you know, there is exposure or any such kind of thing, hepatitis B is not included as a catch-up vaccine. But it is not contraindicated to be given above one year of age. This is a small little point that you should know. So if the question says, is hepatitis B given after one year of age? The answer will be, no, it is not given above one year age. But is it contraindicated? The answer is, it is not contraindicated. It is just that it is not given above one year of age as part of national immunization schedule. Right? So you can uh, consider, you can put plus minus as hepatitis B based upon the scenario. So scenario based things, scenario based questions are a part of your QBank thing. So you can practice them once and read the explanation which has been given to you. Second, what is the type of OPV which is used in National Immunization Schedule? The type of OPV used in NIS is bivalent form. Earlier it used to be trivalent OPV. Bivalent OPV has been introduced since 2017 and the bivalent form will be active against P1 and P3 strains. The P2 has been abandoned, it has been discarded. What is the dose of BCG vaccine? As I just told you, if the age of the child is less than one month, the dose will be 0.05 ml intradermally. If the age of the child is at or above one month of age, the dose will be 0.1 ml. Then what is the protection of BCG? Now the protection of BCG, two Indian textbooks give the protective range, efficacy range efficacy of or protection of BCG ranging between 0 to 80 percent. So there is a very widespread you know protection range given by BCG. You need to understand that BCG vaccine gives good protection against two forms of tuberculosis. Against CNS tuberculosis it provides good protection and against disseminated tuberculosis included miliary tuberculosis it provides good protection. But the protection is poor against pulmonary tuberculosis and that is why giving BCG does not, you know, most cases prevent the onset or the occurrence of pulmonary tuberculosis. Although the extra pulmonary forms, particularly CNS, miliary and disseminated tuberculosis, their risk is decreased. So CNS TB, disseminated TB, if question gives you, then miliary TB will also be included where there is a relatively good protection. So these are the three areas where good protection is seen. MCQ on this has been asked in AIMS entrance exam. It was initially asked in AIMS super speciality exam. Some years later AIMS people put that in the AIMS PG entrance exam also. So please remember this is also originally a super speciality question. And what is the type of PCV which has been introduced in NIS? As I have told you the type of PCV introduced is PCV 13. The 13 valent form of PCV has been introduced. And the type of regime that we follow is two doses which are given at 6 weeks and 14 weeks followed by booster at 9 months.